Yeah. Uh, good morning. A uh, very warm good morning to one and all, all the participants present in this uh, one month countrywide classroom teaching program. And dear friend, today we have a, a topic for discussion is the major histocompatibility complex, MSC complex 2. Actually, this is a uh, lecture is to continue to the second lecture of the CWC uh, e program. And our resource person, again, uh, Dr. Rajan Walesar, he's associate professor and head in the Department of Microbiology at the uh, Abba Sahib Garwari College, Pune. In first lecture, he has covered the structure of MSc complexes, the structure and their function for the MSc class one session. Now, in today's lecture, Sir, we'll uh, cover the topic, the Palmerman MSc uh, molecules, MSc antigen types, and macrotoxicity and mixed lymphocyte reactions. Now, I handed over this session uh, to our resource person, uh, Dr. Rajan Wale, sir. Rajan Wale, sir, over to you. Thank you so much, sir, for a nice uh, introduction and uh, uh, recapping of what we have seen last time. Um, uh, good morning, one and all the students, the, the organizing staff, Dr. Chavan and his team. Uh, I, I doubt it only, I, I express my deep sense of thanks uh, for the organizers to give me this opportunity to interact with students. Uh, this is a very good activity that you have, your college is running, I must appreciate. So thanks for, um, thanks once again, uh, the whole team and, and um, uh, the college. So uh, dear students, uh, I share my screen. Um, as sir has uh, rightly said, uh, I have divided my uh, talk into two. Uh, this is what um, last uh, the division of my uh, lectures topic. In lecture one, we have seen structure of MHC in man and mouse. And uh, also we have seen uh, structure and functions of uh, MHC class one uh, and class two molecules. Uh, so in that introduction, we have also seen uh, the importance of MHC molecules. Uh, uh, what's their significance? Why they are so important? And they are, um, we also uh, gone through the uh, historic uh, notations about MHC, why it is called as MHC and um, uh, why it is again uh, renamed as HLA. Uh, what is it, uh, its status, corresponding status in mouse and other animals, especially mouse uh, and uh, well, what's its uh, um, uh, other roles rather than uh, histocompatibility? So uh, uh, one more minute I will take to just uh, um, introduce um, uh, um, or uh, under the introduction so that we can link up uh, uh, lecture two with lecture one. Uh, dear students, uh, in lecture one, we have seen that a major histocompatibility complex was uh, uh, discovered with the context that they are responsible for uh, um, uh, graft rejection. So they are responsible for graft rejection or acceptance depending upon the, the matching, the graft, even the skin graft or whatever organ transplant uh, and so. Um, uh, if they are matching, uh, if they are different, then uh, the, uh, the graft is rejected. And the re reason behind that uh, are the uh, major histocompatibility com complexes. It is called in um, H2 system in mice because um, there are two kinds of, um, um, or uh, gene two is responsible for this particular graph acceptance or rejection. And in human, it is called as MHC, major histocompatibility complex. Uh, um, um, and uh, it is so called because uh, it is again uh, responsible for the same reaction. But later it is found that the main function of MHC molecule is not graft rejection or acceptance but rather it has a very significant and very uh, seminal role in uh, immunology to play. What seminal role it has to play, I'll come to it in, in, in the next uh, few seconds. But before that, why, uh, why it is called as HLA? So a major histocompatibility complex, as I said, um, uh, discovered or studied with context to um, uh, graft rejection or acceptance and so named. But um, uh, then it, initially it was found that uh, these are associated or these are present on the human leukocytes and hence uh, they are called as uh, HLA, human leukocyte antigen. Uh, but le later it was, though uh, uh, um, it is found that uh, um, these antigens are present on all nucleated cells, but the name stuck 
that is uh, uh, human leukocyte antigen. So this is just a uh, short uh, introduction of my lecture one. Um, again, as I said, I'll come into the uh, significance within a, uh, 30 seconds or so. Is that, uh, um, as we all know students, that uh, antigen antibody reaction uh, is highly specific. Uh, as in lecture one, I said, it is the most specific biological reaction on this planet. So uh, antibodies and immune, highly immune uh, trained cell, they recognize foreign substances we call in the sense of immunology them as a non-self or foreign. So to be recognized these non-self molecules by T cells or B cells, uh, they, are, they have to be uh, present uh, 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 in, uh, uh, in recognizable form. They, most of the times, uh, the, when foreign substances like bacteria or viruses they enter, they are engulfed, they are degraded, and their antigen remain inside. So uh, our recognizing system, that is immune system, uh, poses uh, or uh, faces a problem. Uh, the, the problem the immune system faces was like, how they can then recognize the internalized molecule? the viral infected cells, the uh, transformed cells, or even our own cells that have undergone transform, that is uh, tumor cells, because most of the time tumor antigens may be inside, the virus may be inside. So this particular problem is solved by major histocompatibility complex molecules. Uh, these molecules, which are pro proteinic in nature, uh, displays the internalized uh, um, antigens to the surface of nucleated cells, if they are MHC class one type of molecules, and depending on the class. And once they are displayed, our uh, highly specialized cell can recognize those and uh, stimulate immune reaction. So this is what the introduction, so that uh, it is important so that we can link up with lecture two. So in lecture two, I will be um, dealing with polymorphism of MHC molecule, how polymorphism uh, is associated with volume, um, MHC molecules and how the typing of MHC antigens is being done. And in that, uh, with, uh, with uh, it, uh, more emphasis is given on microcytotoxicity and MLR, that is mixed lymphocyte reaction. So with this short introduction, let us start with, uh, as uh, um, uh, we know, uh, MHC molecules, um, they are polymorphic. Uh, their polymorphism uh, is today's topic. They are highly polymorphic in nature. How? MHC genes are, uh, um, as we know, there are three different classes. Uh, um, the, the very commonly pronounced one are MHC class one gene, for example. Uh, they consist of three uh, uh, genes, A, B, C. But Though we only mention ABC genes, they are uh, and they are responsible for, um, or they are the significant playing significant role in uh, uh, displaying the antigen. But there are some non-classical genes as well. So it is not the case that MHC class one genes are only ABC. There are so many. Okay, and not only that, they are also present in um, allelic forms. So more more alleles are possible uh, uh, present. Once, uh, in fact, they are in number genes. They are allelic. They have multiple alleles. So their combination could, uh, when they are expressed, when they are uh, transcribed and translated, different combinations are possible that results in diversity. We will come to it later mm -hmm. after this slide. Uh, I must mention the promiscuity, the promiscuous behavior of uh, uh, MHC molecules as well. Promiscuity, as we know, uh, it's a very common term in biology. Uh, so um, it is not the case that these MHC molecules are uh, giving the uh, specificity of antigen antibody reaction. It is the TCR, that means T cell receptors and B cell receptors that are specific for a specific antigen. Okay, so antigen antibody binding is specific, but here as uh, a punchline, MHC molecules and peptides of antigen, the, the processed antigen, we know uh, the whole protein is degraded process and then uh, displayed with the help of this uh, MHC molecules on the surface of the nucleated or non-nucleated uh, uh, cells. So MHC molecules and this antigens interaction is not as precise as TCRs, is not as precise as antigen antibody. The, 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 um, uh, the binding and the interaction uh, is proboscis. That means Many peptides can bind one MHC and vice versa. 
and single peptide can bind more than one MHC molecule. So uh, always keep it mind. So it is the uh, TCR that is that makes the reaction specific. It is the antibody that makes the reaction specific. Which reaction? Antigen antibody binding reaction. The task of MHC is to present um, the processed antigen, the peptides to the TC, uh, T cells, both the T kinds of T cells, uh, TH uh, and TC. So let's move. So promoscuity uh, is important to mention. Uh, just to recap, this this particular side we already have done, but um, unless mentioning what are these uh, two um, class one and class two molecules, um, we cannot uh, discuss uh, what uh, what is their um, uh, pleomorphism or how the pleomorphism is important. Though this is the, uh, the same side we have seen, I've just mentioned uh, within a few seconds or so. Uh, this the one that you can see at the <clears throat> left, that is MHC. Uh, class one uh, molecule. This is MSC class two and MSC class three is not mentioned here. It, it has nothing to do with this. It, it is responsible for several secretory pro proteins and se several secretory substances that are um, playing important role in complement and all. So um, why I have mentioned here, uh, just to recap, just to uh, recall that MSC class one molecule has uh, these alpha, uh, both, both, of, both of these uh, molecules uh, protein is in nature, they are hetero polymeric uh, or dimeric rather uh, in nature. Um, they consist of alpha chain, here also alpha chain, here beta chain, here beta 2 chain, but uh, these beta 2 chain do not offer any uh, polymorph polymorphism when we will see in next uh, few uh, um, slides. And neither this is coded by the MSC cluster. It is coded by coded somewhere else in the gene, gene uh, in the chromosome number 15. This is on chromosome number six. So why I have mentioned this slide here, just to um, uh, recall that the what are the structures of MSC class one and MSC class two molecules. So alpha one, two, three region and beta in class one, uh, alpha one, two in uh, uh, class two and beta one, two. And here is the site that binds the processed antigen and present it to the uh, T, uh, C cell or TH cell, cytotoxic T cell or uh, helper T cell, okay? And some of the uh, uh, class uh, MSC class one as well as MSC class two uh, uh, molecules, they remain transmembrane in the membrane and some in the uh, 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 inside. So this is what we're reading out. And here is the antigen and there they are presenting it. So genes responsible for this whole protein this whole protein, both the dimers are coded with MSC cluster. And that is what we are going to see today. Uh, so um, uh, it, it may require basics of uh, DNA splicing, introns, exons later, but unless you know what is the structure and how it is uh, um, there, uh, you, you will not able to understand. That is why I have mentioned this slide repeatedly here, even in class uh, previous lecture. So uh, these are the gene uh, products. Let's move ahead. So, um, uh, MHC uh, locus is uh, in the heading itself uh, as we are going through the uh, molecular uh, molecules for pleomorphism. Um, uh, it is the locus itself is a multiple gene family. We have already seen last time. MSC class one genes, MSC class two genes. There are three genes, classical genes, A, B, C. What do you mean by classical and non-classical? Classical genes are responsible for their major task. Here, for example, class in MSC class one genes, uh, they are responsible for um, coding the alpha one, alpha two, alpha three <laughs> um, uh, chain of uh, the molecule. And that is why it is important. But that doesn't mean that uh, the rest part of uh, the gene, uh, there are several gene parts, you can see. There are several genes, especially gene G, last time we have seen how it is important in protecting uh, the fetus from the immune mechanism of the mother, that I am not going to repeat here. Just to mention, the non-classical non uh, genes products are also important in immuno immunology. But since our topic of discussion is uh, uh, MSC molecules and uh, their presentation, uh, presentation or their antigen presenting um, task, uh, we will not go in that details. So now about the non-classical genes. So classical genes of class one molecules are three. Classical genes of 
<laughs> uh, MHC Cas two molecules are mentioned here. It is in DP, DQ, and DR, and they are allyls. Okay, their types. Uh, yes, of course, uh, class two MHC molecules um, also have some uh, gene cluster. Also have some non-classical genes. There are several. Uh, and class three MHC gene is separately mentioned. Uh, repeatedly, I keep on saying that they are responsible for complement and other secretory proteins that have nothing to do with antigen presentation to the T or TH or TC cell, okay? Uh, uh, intermittently, I just keep on asking Chawan sir whether I'm audible or not. Chawan sir, I'm audible. So that I'm... Yes sir, yes sir, you're audible. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Please, please bear with me. I, I, I will uh, keep on asking uh, five ten minutes so that... Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah. this is how uh, the MHC uh, uh, gene family. You can see the huge uh, number of genes. Uh, though we are only concentrating on uh, classical genes, there are several non-classical uh, non genes. They, uh, do, though they don't have a major or seminal role to play in antigen presentation, but they do have a uh, role in uh, immune system. So this is about multiple gene family. This uh, slide will give you uh, uh, the uh, or depict you the, actually the um, vast nature of uh, MHC uh, molecules. So in, uh, in in previous slide we have seen how many genes uh, are there. So there are several genes coding for um, MHC class one gene, uh, MHC class one molecule coding for MHC two class two molecules. Okay, there are several genes. I, 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 I agree. But in addition to that, these genes. Um, um, uh, uh, created uh, more uh, what is called as um, diversity, more polymorphism due to presence of more than one gene. Uh, uh, it's, uh, I mean, alleles. There are more allelic forms. Okay. So, uh, because of these alleles, um, you can see, and as we all know, um, alleles are what? One of uh, uh, alleles. Uh, these are, uh, in previous slide, we have seen uh, how many genes are associated with the uh, synthesis of class 1 and class 2 molecules. But um, these genes, though in number, um, more in number, in addition to their number, their diversity is also because of uh, um, their allelic forms. So genes are there in number and there are so many alleles. Uh, in the next slide, you can see how many alleles are there. Hmm? Uh, for example, uh, um, and as we know, what is allele? One of uh, one of two or more uh, possible forms of the gene that are found at uh, same place in a chromosome. Hmm? So, yeah. so uh, can, uh, Chawan, sir. Yes, sir. May I know why this red line has appeared? Uh, Someone, someone is annotating, sir. Just I would stop uh, the person to stop. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get just uh, distracted. Uh, because I have not done and uh, I, I was a little cautious about yes, it. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah, it is a, a request to all the participants. Do not annotate or uh, cross the line over the screen. And if you're not, not interested in uh, listening this lecture, you can uh, uh, out from this uh, live session. We are organizing this event for you people. And if you are doing such a nonsense thing, then it is not good for you people. Please, it is a humble request. Sir, just go ahead. Yeah. Uh, where were we? Uh, okay. Now, uh, these are the uh, genes. Hmm? And here, uh, we have seen uh, the for class one, there are several genes. Class two, there are in addition to uh, classical genes, there are uh, non-classical genes responsible for other immunological functions, though not uh, antigen presentation. Uh, I was saying that uh, allele. So, in addition to the number of genes pre present, this polymorphism or diversity is created due to presence of uh, uh, more forms of genes that we call it as the alleles. You just see how, how many number of alleles are there. For example, um, HLA B gene. HLA, HLA means uh, MHC in humans is called as HLA. That means HLA B means MHC class one B gene. There are 872 alleles. You see, any one of the allele uh, product can uh, combine with any one of the allele product of H, uh, this thing, and uh, it produces um, um, 
uh, uh, MHC class one molecule in the structure we have seen. And you can imagine how uh, enormous the combinations could be. And that is why it is enormously high, highly polymorphic in nature. So the sufficient extraordinary uh, uh, number of uh, uh, molecules, MHC molecules are uh, produced uh, extraordinary amount, uh, extraordinary number in the uh, context to the uh, number of antigens. So uh, um, uh, whatever the number of antigens present in the universe, more, more than that MHC molecules could be uh, pro uh, produced or uh, the combination is possible. Um, Dear students, you can now uh, imagine from where we have shifted from transplantation to uh, presentation and how deep uh, the presentation phenomenon is and how um, MHC molecules playing a role. Um, this is interesting to note that uh, the MHC molecules are recognized or they are discovered with context to <laughs> histocompatibility, uh, graft rejection and graft acceptance, but the, the study revealed that they, the, the, it is not their main role. Yes, they do play that role, but then their main role is to present antigen to the um, uh, antigen, uh, the uh, non safe antigen or um, foreign substances uh, recognizing um, highly expertised cell system that is the immune system. Uh, okay, coming to point. So uh, there are okay, I agree. There, there number is uh, the number, there are more than one. Uh, the, there are more genes respon uh, responsible for the production of uh, or for the synthesis or the. Uh, transcription and translation products of these genes are the result of uh, MHC molecules. But in addition to their number of genes, the, their alleles and uh, the number are given here. Okay. So uh, let's see. Next, uh, uh, from this number, you might have uh, imagine how enormous in number the MHC molecules are. Um, MHC molecules or polymorphism could also be uh, um, uh, explained on the basis of uh, how this combination could be tried out. For example, product HLA gene, that means MHC class 1, uh, as we know, ABC genes are uh, uh, associated with MHC class 1. So, uh, products of HLA, B, C and pro uh, com uh, H, uh, class 2 molecule that is DP, DQ, DR genes participate in actual antigen pre uh, presentation. And um, uh, functions of some non-classical MHC class 1 molecules as we know, uh, G and there are several uh, non-classical uh, MHC genes of class 2 that is LMP2, LMP7 and so on actually. Uh, they code for a degradation of the endogenous antigens. So it is not the case that they do not have any role to play. They have a role to play, but um, uh, compared to uh, classical genes, the, the minor role. So degradation of endogenous uh, antigens is important aspect. Or other uh, non-classical class two genes are, for example, TAP1, TAP2 codes for, as their name, TAP to stand for, uh, uh, transporters proteins. So uh, transportation of the protein molecules uh, to be degraded and to be processed is also required and that is also important process. So class two gene molecules, which are other than DP, DQ, DUR, we are familiar with, they are also playing important role in uh, uh, antigen processing. Uh, and that could be considered as uh, the part of uh, um, antigen presentation, though that not directly. Uh, here, one example has been given. Uh, uh, how um, poly polymorphism, how diversity could be generated. Like um, poly, uh, you, you can uh, see uh, um, from the structure itself in, in the previous uh, two previous slide that um, how many alleles are present and number of alleles are more in uh, class one uh, genes. So polymorphism in class one molecule is due to the variability uh, in amino acid sequence, alpha and beta. Uh, sorry, not beta, alpha. Uh, because we know beta two gene, uh, beta two my mu, uh, and that is why I have shown you the structure. Uh, is actually not responsible for um, the polymorphism or diversity that is to be produced. It has no uh, diversity. Whatever diversity associated with class 1 molecule is because of alpha 1, 2, 3 uh, coding regions, A, A B, C genes. Uh, in addition to that, beta 2, beta 2 mu gene is not at all the part of uh, uh, MHC cluster, MHC locus. It is it's somewhere, uh, some, uh, some different chromosome codes, uh, this particular structure, this particular protein. 
So whatever the diversity, whatever the polymorphism of class uh, one uh, MHC molecule, it is because of amino acid uh, sequence variability. Why this uh, amino acid varies? Because there are different genes. Now, these different genes are there. They, their combination can be enormous. And every time, different they, they code for different gene sequences. Uh, they code for different amino acid sequences and result in different alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 um, chain. OK? And, uh, there is some noise uh, I hear. So uh, they code for this 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 gene. Uh, this product of uh, MSC class one molecule is not at all the product of MSC cluster. It is coded somewhere. Uh, it is uh, the the coding sequence the, of DNA is uh, somewhere deep at other chromosome. That is chromosome number fifteen. But the genes responsible for uh, these class one molecule synthesis is present um, uh, in, in in the number we have seen in the and the alleles we have seen. So uh, uh, it is the product of that particular gene. And you can see there are several combinations possible. Hmm? Coming back. So uh, beta 2 uh, mu uh, uh, is a monomorphic. It do not have any role to play in diversity or polymorphism uh, of the class 1 molecule. On the other hand, uh, as we have seen the structure of uh, uh, MSC class 2, both uh, the genes are located on the cluster itself, and hence uh, their different combinations can result uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, different amino acid sequence and uh, the uh, uh, more the diverse one. So, for example, any um, for example uh, any HL uh, any HLA uh, uh, DR alpha chain can combine. Uh, alpha chain means the product of DR gene. Now, DR gene we know. How many genes are there? How many alleles are there? So, how many combinations are possible for one uh, result? So, among that, uh, so many combinations. So, any one combination can combine with beta chain. Okay. Again, it has uh, different combinations to form a hetero heterodimer. So, this uh, enormous number of combination results in uh, highly, highly, very highly. Uh, polymorphic uh, nature of uh, MHC class 2 molecules. Highly polymorphic nature of MHC class 2 molecules means um, every class 2 molecules have, may have different different uh, amino acid sequences, especially at their uh, cleft that is responsible, that is engaged in binding the process of uh, epitope. Um, I have said that though no two individuals are similar in their antigenicity of the MSC molecules. So now you can imagine why this is so. This is because of this polymorphism. And that is why we differ from each other in antigenicity at MSC molecules. And that is why how different we are that will, de that will determine whether uh, uh, transplantation, whether uh, drafting is possible between uh, 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 these two individuals. So uh, degree of foreigner, foreignness matters. And that is why during transplantation, uh, the HLA typing is being done other than uh, 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 blood group typing. Coming to the point. So uh, this, this is how the diversity uh, uh, results. Okay. So there is a, a great diversity in um, HLA class 1 than in class 2 because uh, in the slide we have already seen how many alleles are present. The number of alleles present in class, HLA class 1 gene are tremendously high. Um, and class 3 gene, uh, is, it has no, uh, um, do not show any allelic polymorphism. Uh, again, uh, just to show. Um, the gene, the whole uh, cluster, around 4,000 uh, KB uh, base pairs, okay? The locus, full locus I have shown here, gene A, then, uh, I mean, um, HLA, BC, that means this is uh, class one, okay? You can see MSC class one gene. Hmm? Not whole, uh, the MSC class one gene. This is MSC class two gene, this is, this is the whole um, MSC cluster of, um, don't, don't see here, uh, let's concentrate on MSC uh, or HLA complex. 
coming back to i just wanted to show uh, collectively we are see we are going to see uh, individual class 1 genes class 2 genes and class 3 genes but collectively also we need to see that is why i have shown this that particular slide so uh, uh, gene uh, arrangement uh, uh, results in diversity and that is why we have to uh, go through the arrangement in msc locus uh, as seen here uh, the msc locus comprises about 400 million base pairs of that msc class 1 gene okay. so this locus where this locus is present uh, we have already seen it is at chromosome number 6 i divided into three region class 1 class 2 class 3 class 1 region covers around 200 uh, uh, kb size of the DNA. You can see here, uh, okay, towards the um, 200 of the kilo base of the DNA towards the telomeric end and contain three genes A, B and C. So B, C and A, it is marked here, okay. Uh, uh, they are called as uh, or HLA, HLA B and HLA C. Plus several non-classical genes that are that are not shown here, which are uh, not all shown. G is been shown repeatedly. I have mentioned the role of G. So uh, important non-classical genes only are shown here. And beta two is not though class one gene uh, though class one uh, uh, molecule consists of alpha and beta. Beta mu will will be not be coded here because it is uh, coded by some other locus in chromosome number sixty. Uh, like that only, this is MSC class 2 molecule gene and they are located uh, towards the uh, centromeric end of MSC and it consists of around 1000 kV of the total area and several genes, uh, for example, alpha, beta, chains of DP, DQ, DRR present, you can see here and present uh, uh, in each chromosome. Uh, so they are uh, and uh, plus some non-classical genes are also uh, shown here. Um, again, uh, here you can see, uh, you, the, you can concentrate, you can uh, see here the star uh, uh, marked area, the, uh, where I have tried to show the um, um, variability or how they, this gene product could result in a, what is called as diversity or polymorphic nature. And uh, this, uh, the, the direction is also, fine. this is the centroma, this is the telomeric side. Okay, let's not go into molecular biology part of it. But let us see how the variability in gene product is created. Um, variability, when we talk about variability in, in, in the sense of, of course, amino acid sequence at the uh, MHC molecules, especially at the uh, um, antigen binding uh, cleft, uh, the structure I have purposely shown again here. So the protein chain produced by multiple allelic of DRB gene, shown in star here, of one of the homologous one of the homologs, there are so many, huh, can get associated with alpha chain. So beta and alpha, um, uh, two chains are there no, to form MSC class 2 molecule. So it can, uh, any of one com any one combination of this uh, DRB2 gene, this DRB2 gene, uh, combined with any of the DRA alpha chain product and um, uh, their product come to, uh, that is protein come together to form uh, um, uh, MSC class 2 molecule and since this is one example there are so many other uh, genes coding and there are so many other uh, combinations possible. So uh, in general all or, or, all the three uh, uh, class, one, uh, class 1 and class 2 that means all the three uh, uh, genes coding for the uh, MSC molecule I have shown here MSC class 1 gene, MSC class 2 gene and MSC class 3 gene. Okay. Collectively I have already shown this slide. And this also I have already shown, but just to have uh, um, the filling, uh, the fill of the whole gene. Uh, this is the slide. Now, uh, 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 coming to the um, uh, summarizing uh, uh, polymorphism, we have seen. So we have discussed genes and all, and how their combination results in polymorphism. Uh, we all know the concept of exon and introns in uh, the uh, actually the uh, gene coding for any, any protein consists of uh, the transcript, uh, the mRNA that consists of um, uh, introns and exons. Introns are removed and exons are selected, and that that go undergoes translation and produces a product. The one that has been selected are pro, uh, are expressed. So separate exons encode 
each region of the class one and class two uh, proteins. Uh, the very elegant slide I will show next in, in, uh, in next slide, a very elegant picture of that. Uh, each of the mouse and hum, uh, human class one gene has at least, I mean, five leader exons. Since there are four, five, six uh, different uh, sides of the molecules. Okay, and followed by um, followed by six exons. As I said, there are six different alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, beta two, my um, mu. For example, if you are considering the example of your class one molecule and uh, intra uh, transmembric chain and intramembric chain, uh, so every every uh, chain is being coded by this uh, uh, this um, what is called as exon. Okay. So, but the signal peptide serves to facilitate uh, uh, or to start with uh, the insertion of the chain into endoplasmic reticulum and it is removed by the protein uh, degrading enzymes later and uh, translation uh, is completed. The complete, the completed product that is transcription and then translation um, uh, uh, is actually the MBC molecule. So the next three exons, for example, alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three domains, code for the, the respond, corresponding uh, regions on molecule. And uh, following ground streams are the exon that codes for, as I said, transmembrane and intramembrane spaces. So uh, like MSC, they, it's similar to that of the MSC class two genes. Uh, they are also recognized into series of exons. The introns are removed. So mirroring the domain structure of alpha and beta chains here in class two molecules, we have seen that beta chain is also responsible for the diversity. So both alpha and beta genes are encoding uh, uh, human as well as mouse, and then they are again uh, 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 exons and introns. And the slide I was talking about is uh, this is so um, self-explanatory uh, figure. Uh, from that you can. Uh, in, 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 in the one picture you have you, you can see alpha uh, class one molecule see alpha one alpha two alpha three beta two mu this is not coded by this gene hmm? this is coded by uh, the gene very which is uh, far away <laughs> chromosome number 15 okay and here it has been shown in uh, um, this is the gene for MSC class one molecule the whole all, all it consists of all the alleles and all in short in short it has been shown the introns and exons and uh, what what uh, uh, introns are removed and what exons are selected, or what gene what product is selected depending upon that. For example, this uh, this will code for alpha one, this code for alpha two, this this part code for alpha three, and actually this is selected in another uh, class one molecule. Some other uh, uh, gene part may be selected, and hence they, uh, they, they they are amino acid sequence vary, and that is how the variability. Similar is the case with um, uh, um, class two gene, but here B two beta chain is also responsible for the variability here it is not it is monomeric it is polymorphic so this is a very good uh, picture showing genes and their products the final products mhc molecule hmm? so this is uh, a very uh, good figure and it is very much self explanatory no uh, for understanding <laughs> for the sake of understanding not for the sake of uh, examination representation because it will take so much time uh, for the examination point of view um, i have shown the gene structure i have shown the uh, MSC molecules to which is to be drawn. Okay, so MSC uh, uh, molecule um, allylic forms uh, are inherited uh, in this way. So the genes that reside within the MSC region are highly polymorphic. That is, uh, alternative forms are possible, and um, the uh, that is why the population contains so many variability. Next topic we'll come to discuss is uh, uh, typing. We all know blood typing. So, is it possible to type, uh, to categorize uh, uh, the HLA type, uh, the the type of uh, just like uh, the blood group antigen type HLA type? So, uh, attempt has been made, of course, to, uh, to type um, HLA, and that is basically uh, CK for uh, done for uh, transplantation and other reasons. So. Uh, of course, this is to be done serologically, and for that, um, uh, now just I'll just tell you the concept. Uh, here we wanted to know the two persons because the donor is do going to donate the um, organ or tissue or whatever to the recipient, and we wanted to know how um, uh, whether it is going to be accepted or not. In addition to blood group, this is important to see whether their uh, MHC molecules uh, match or not, or they are similar or not. So to do so, of course, it is a serological reaction. 
So for that, we have to have immunoglobulins, antibodies, whether uh, the recipient will um, uh, the recipient will uh, react with uh, the donor cells because if donor cells have different MHC molecules, they will, of course, uh, the recipient's um, immune system will also uh, react and reject. And that rejection is a problem. So we, to, we wanted to know how much the chances of rejection, how much our higher acceptance. So for that, we have to have um, uh, immunoglobulin. So CIRA is uh, basically obtained from multiparous uh, woman. Multiparous woman means why multiparous woman? Because um, uh, multiparous, that means more than uh, the woman carried more than four or five times uh, the fetus. Uh, so that uh, it, it will, she will carry uh, the, the antigens because um, the fetus is uh, uh, can be considered as a foreign and that carries antigens from uh, her uh, uh, fetus father. Okay, so uh, immunoglobulins from fetus um, multiparous women uh, are obtained. And I will not read out the slide, I'll just mean, uh, um, tell you the concept or the procedure. And it is quoted in a, uh, um, something like uh, Eliza plate or, or the uh, having. Um, multiple uh, uh, arrays okay so uh, the sera tend to have of course high titers of antibodies against um, large number of hla determinants molecules okay um, so because uh, the mother has repeatedly immunized with hla of the uh, single individual that is the father of her child so widely widely used uh, hla typing is lymphocyte microcytotoxicity assay the name itself tells you whether uh, the lymphocytes uh, react each other's lymphocytes, okay, the donor and recipient. So multiple anti sera against HLA, B and C antigens are placed in the micro -wells. So large number of these um, anti sera are uh, coated, coated or placed in a micro -wells and can be kept, can be frozen, can be maintained. And the persons whose HLA is to be typed, uh, uh, that person's um, peripheral blood lymphocytes are added here. So if these peripheral lymphocytes are not uh, are showing different um, uh, um, antigens that that may react with antibodies that are already present, and later complement is added. If the see, they are not matching, that means antigen antibody react, and if complement is added, this antigen antibody binding and complement uh, cascade reaction get activated, and um, that uh, sera uh, that cells get lysed. And how many of the cells are lysed and how many are not, uh, we will we tell you the matching status. So the percentage of cells lysed by each antiserum can be determined and, um, uh, and the HLA, B and C phenotype can be assigned. So hope you get, got it. The another type that is mixed lymphocyte reaction that is uh, most commonly uh, mentioned as MLR. Uh, in the exams also this has been asked. Chewansa, I'm audible. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. You're audible, sir. Go ahead. Yes. So, uh, rather than to going to text, it is uh, good if I explain with this, but uh, students may require some prerequisite information. And that is why I have given a chance to read out, uh, to read them, the few top, few key points. Okay. So, um, here, D antigens are to be, uh, we are looking for, and type by mixed lymphocyte reaction. Mix, why, why it is called as mixed lymphocyte reaction, we'll come to know, because we are mixing these two uh, lymphocytes, and uh, we are assigning whether they are uh, reacted or not. It is, uh, it's a very good concept uh, of uh, matching these lymphocytes. Hmm? So, um, lymphocytes from, uh, um, D different individuals, okay, different individuals mixed with um, uh, the donor and uh, uh, recipient will mix uh, in vitro, of course, outside the uh, body and um, blood transformation is observed. I'll come to it. What is blast transformation and um, blast transformation itself is uh, the process in which DNA synthesis is uh, active, uh, accelerated uh, in response to the D antigen. That means uh, in recipient cell, whether it is activated or not, how it will be activated? Because if donor cells is, are different, they are carrying different antigen, uh, recipients, uh, T lymphocytes will be activated and um, they undergo blast transformation. 
Now, what is blast transformation? Let me mention in short. In short, that uh, blast transformation means what? When a, a cell get uh, inactive, when cell get activated due to presence of any antigen, uh, there it undergoes a morphological and biochemical uh, transformation or change. In um, uh, especially in these lymphocytes undergo morphological and biochemical changes. Okay, on um, exposure to this antigen. Hello, hello, antigen rather, um, or a mitogen sometimes. So uh, and move towards a a, um, a G one stage of the cell cycle from G zero to G one stage. And I, as I we all know, um, uh, G one stage. What will happen more will be the uh, synthesis. So actually enlarge and proceed to, to S phase and mitosis later. So that is what uh, blast uh, transformation and the term blast phase is mean also uh, uh, many times we come across in immunology. Uh, so we biologists are very well uh, aware of that. Blast phase is what is the number is enormously increased. Okay. So um, so the responders are lymphocytes here. Okay, of course. So we wanted to check whether uh, recipients lymphocytes are activated due to presence of donors uh, um, uh, lymphocytes or uh, donors antigen rather. Uh, let's say in figure it will be very much clear to you. But uh, since uh, beginners require some uh, some text to read uh, so that they can understand uh, the figure principle of the test. So. Um, this lymphocytes of individual to be typed are incubated, be mixed and incubated. Uh, I must mention that before uh, uh, reactions to start, the donor's uh, cell is inactivated with the addition of um, some uh, mitotic toxin like mitomycin and all. So we are not giving any chance uh, uh, the donor cell to proliferate or to react. We have inactivated its um, mitotic or DNA replication, basically. The only respondent is, uh, is limpo, uh, our recipient. Uh, so if the responder, that is recipient cell lysis or cell synthesis takes place after incubation with a particular um, HTC. HTC is what? The, the one we are typing, donor, homologous typing cells. So I'll repeat, if uh, the responder cell DNA synthesis after incubation uh, with the uh, uh, donors uh, cells, then it is concluded that unknown cells do not possess the same DNA. That means they are different. Okay. How, what is, why it, uh, wh how it is to be interpreted? See, if unknown responder, if the recipient cell synthesis after incubation with particular uh, gene, uh, is there? That means it has. Uh, why it is uh, responding? Why it is uh, undergoing uh, the phenomenon that is called as blast transformation? Because the different antigen it has faced, and hence that particular donor's antigen has provoked, has <laughs> stimulated uh, the recipient to undergo uh, to uh, uh, undergo a DNA synthesis, and that DNA synthesis can be checked with uh, 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 radiological techniques. So uh, further incubator by addition of uh, say uh, radioactive thiamine that is called as THDR, okay, thiamidine TH. Uh, that uh, the advantage of thiamidine uh, TH is that three uh, hydroxythiamine that is incorporated in new strands of the <laughs> chromosome DNA um, that are synthesized in the mitotic cells. So we have added. Mm, uh, so, so in conceptually, both the team lymphocytes and uh, of donor and recipients are mixed. Before mixing, donors T lymphocytes are inactivated, but they are carrying the antigen. If the these two, uh, if, if the donor cells are carrying very large, um, distantly located antigen or foreign, uh, if the antigen is there, recipients uh, T lymphocytes will react to it. How they will react? They will uh, undergo a phenomenon called as blast phase or blast cell transformation and that we are going to look if blast cell transformation is there that means that means if dna synthesis is there that means they do not possess the same agent that means not uh, compatible <laughs> and reverse is the case if the unknown responsible cells show no dna synthesis why no dna synthesis because the recipients uh, t cells have not undergone blast transformation why it has not undergone 
blast transformation because it has not seen any foreign. Why it has not seen any foreign substance in donors? Because they are same. <laughs> okay. If you have got this, dear students, you can get this uh, figure very easily and uh, without any much efforts, you can put it in your exams on the MLR. See, donor cells and recipient cells, PM, BNS, poly, um, polymorphic B, um, peripheral blood mononuclear cells, PB, MNS means peripheral blood mononuclear cells. Uh, we all know that carries NVC molecules. Uh, so donors and recipient cells are incubated here. But before incubation, what I said, mitomycin, mitotic toxin is given to what? <laughs> donor. So donor cell has no chance to multiply to proliferate. So which can proliferate only recipient. Okay, so they are mixed here. Uh, both the methods are correct. Let us concentrate and discharge. I have elaborated this. Okay, so donor cells uh, inactivated for uh, DNA synthesis, recipient cells, they are mixed. If donor cell is not belonging to similar kind of HLA system of recipient, the recipient cells during this incubation period, two, three days incubation period, react to the antigen of donor and undergo a phase transformation or blast state transformation. That means it will synthesize more and more DNA, biochemical changes, morphological changes that could be seen in staining. But if donor is different, lymphocyte get activated, it undergoes transformation, more and more DNA synthesis, and it can be read out by adding uh, this, uh, what is called as thymidine in the cell. This thymidine will get incorporated uh, in the uh, blast transfer PBBNS of recipient if it has undergone, and that could be read out, the radioactive, the, the radioactivity. And if the reaction is positive, that means they are not related. And if not, they are related. That means there should be no uh, reaction. So that's all about. Okay. So these are references. Thanks. Well, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. I am audible. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes. Continue. Yes, sir. Yes. Any point to be discussed? Five minutes I have left purposely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for a nice presentation on MSC complex molecule 2, type 2 molecule. Now, it is requested to the participant if they have any queries over uh, this topic, uh, they can ask our resource person, Dr. Rajan Walisa, directly. And uh, also, they can uh, ask their query by chatting. We have five minutes to discuss okay, here. Of course. Yeah. The participant, do you have any queries? If you have, kindly raise your hand. You can also access this uh, video lecture on our YouTube channel, DPC Media Center. And if you have any query, you can also ask there in chat box. And uh, now, I think that the point is uh, uh, clear to all the participants. And uh, I handed over uh, this session to Dr. Deepak Dusari, sir, Assistant Professor in Microbiology, to propose the vote of thanks uh, for this session. Dr. Deepak Dusari, sir, over to you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Due to network connectivity, I am uh, off, sir, off sir, the, please. Uh, my video. Uh, Wale, sir, can yes, you sir. stop sharing the slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Wait, and, please, uh, please, yes. yeah, and please on your uh, uh, video camera, sir. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. your video. Okay. Yeah, Hello. May I continue, sir? Yes, sir, right now. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Due to network connectivity, sir, I uh, pause my video uh, and I continue in the last event of the, this session. So I uh, am very uh, thankful to Dr. Uh, Rajendra Wali, sir, who is the assistant prof associate professor and head of the Department of Microbiology uh, from Pune. 
sir uh, has very uh, nicely and very uh, softly that explained the mhc concept uh regarding that mhc that major histocompatibility complex mhc uh, that is a group of genes that uh, code for protein uh found on the surface of cells that help the immune system recognize foreign substances and uh, that also explains that about the uh, in human beings the complex is also uh, that uh, is also called uh, the human leukocyte antigen that is hls gene so uh, this uh, uh, that mhc gene variants are uh, are also highly polymorphic and uh, that uh, sir has also explained uh, very much that uh, uh, anti uh, that anti type uh, typing so here uh, i uh, very much thankful uh, from our college uh, for giving us uh, a valuable time for uh, for to present uh, this uh, very important concept uh, to not only for the uh, students uh, sir I'll, i also mention uh, here one thing that that this uh, is, uh, this lecture that will be helpful for all the human being because this is related to all the human that biological purposes so that's why that this is not for the student this is uh, for the, all the human being those who are interested to learn about the biology uh, of the living beings and that's why that uh, this this uh, that you are uh, that conduct that performed lecture that uh, is very much uh, effective for that to how to learn very easiest uh, manner uh, that is the histocompatibility complex uh, that major co histocompatibility complex so that uh, that previous lecture was also very nice and this lecture uh, is also very uh, nice uh, excellent thank you for, for being with us uh, and giving this uh, uh, valuable uh, lecture to all of us thank you once again uh, from all the uh, db college uh, from boka thank you very much sir for yes. a nice word thank, thank, thank you. you thank you thank you very much sir and uh, hope to see you meet you again on 13th of uh, this month and yes, in the morning session and yes, we are uh, dr wale sir who is coming with us again uh, with the topic cytokines uh, yes uh, another very so interesting you, uh, aspect of immunology yes. <laughs> yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah. thank you thank you thank dear you. friend uh, yeah thank you very much sir uh, dear student uh, in the new session we have uh, dr chitra more madam with us uh, she will uh, discuss on the classification of the chordate uh this topic either physical science student may also attend this session as the topic uh, is concerned with the complete, uh, contemporary uh, relevance that uh, everyone must know how we people are the chordate uh, the animals were classified uh so be tuned at uh, noon session at uh, 2 o'clock in the noon thank you thank you very much the session is over here